Kayali Vanilla Royale Sugared Patchouli 64 Unboxing and First Impressions Take 2 What is good YouTube? Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mike, Michael, Mikey Cologne, and to all my subscribers once again, thank you very much for the support. If you're new here, like, comment, subscribe. If you like to hear about fragrances and unboxings and first impressions, right, I did have an unboxing and first impressions for you lot today, and that video I've just done, and I've completely messed it up. I mean, big time messed it up. I was stuttering on a few words. I, I, words were coming out wrong. It just, if I would have posted that, you people would have laughed me up. So, that shit is trashed. This is the unboxing and first impressions part two. I've literally just smelt this fragrance and I've literally just done that first video, so I haven't worn it properly yet. Literally, this is the second take. Wasn't happy with the first one, so we're gonna go through the fragrance again. So, there's the fragrance that we're gonna be talking about today. It is from Kayali, and it is called Vanilla Royale Sugared Patchouli 64. 64, I believe, is the number of times it took them to get the composition of the fragrance to where they wanted it to be. I believe that's what the 64 means on the end of the name. This is a 100ml bottle and it is other perfume concentration I believe. Right, before I get going, I got this from Sephora. Sephora is now in the UK and at the minute they have got some great sale prices and I just want to say this before anyone jumps down my throat. They don't know I exist and they are not sponsoring this video. I'm just trying to let you people know that where you can get this 100ml bottle for a decent price. Go over to their website and check it out at Sephora. Right, now I've got that out of the way. This fragrance, before I get going, is it just smells fantastic. I mean, obviously, literally, I've just smelled it. Literally, five minutes ago, and we're going to smell it together and I'm going to show you the atomizer. The atomizer on this is great. Pressurised, look. Look at that, look. Pressurised atomizer. Man, this thing is filling the air. This is going to be a winter banger. I was about to say a summer banger, but I was thinking it's no good for the summer. It's going to be a winter banger. Right, I'm going to read you the notes and then we're going to, I want to read you the notes so we can understand the fragrance together. Because you might think, hang on, what's this geezer talking about? So, let's go on Fragrantica. You've got rum, vanilla orchid and jasmine in the top. In the mid you've got vanilla, spicy notes, leather, tonka bean, rose and creme brulee. And then in the base, you've got patchouli, brown sugar, agar wood, which is oud, sugar, amber, and musk. People, as soon as this opens, you get that vanilla, you get that rum. That rum is just giving us just a slight boozy edge, not boozy dominant, just a slight boozy edge. And then you've got that Musk, you can detect that. You can detect the patchouli. The rose is giving it an undercurrent of that floral tone. Man, this thing, I'm getting excited about it. So you've got all this going on, literally. Boozy, vanilla, amber, patchouli, rose. That is all going on. Like I say, I've just sprayed this, so I don't know how long that's going to go on for. There will be an update video. But people, that creme brulee, in French, I believe creme brulee means burnt cream. Not just a pretty face. The, uh, I actually had to Google that. So that's what it means, creme brulee. It means burnt cream. 
because I think on a creme brulee you've got that burnt sugar on top. So do I get that in here? I don't get no creme brulee. But the vanilla, yes, the amber, yes. It is, man, it is, that oud is giving it just, it ain't a skanky oud. It is just giving it an undercurrent of warmth and depth and just a little bit of backbone. And then that patchouli is sweet, sexy, mixed with that tonka bean. Man, this fragrance, it is sweet. It ain't overly sweet. So people, it ain't going to choke you out. I reckon if you've done 20 sprays, it might choke you out. But if you're only doing five to seven sprays, this ain't going to be overly sweet. Right, straight out of the gate, this is any sex can wear this. I didn't know it was going to lean too feminine before I opened it. And I can say that this doesn't. With that oud and that patchouli in there and the amber, it is giving this fragrance just a little bit of masculinity to it, whereas a man can pull this off as well as a woman. So anybody can wear this. Like I said earlier in the video, to me, this is going to be straight up winter. I'll tell you what, people, this is going to make a great date night scent. It really is, because I think this is sexy, sweet and seductive, and it has some depth and richness to it. Man, I love it. I've, first impressions, I actually love this fragrance. So anyway, people, that was my first impressions of Kayali, and uh, let me know if you've tried it. Let me know what you think about the fragrance. People, remember, smelling good's always a pleasure and never a chore. And people, if you're new here, Subscribe.